And here's a look at my sketchbook that I've been mentioning. I started using it in April. And here is the first page of the ginkgo leaves. And then the tree, how it came out. A little wall pattern, just random shapes. The braided hair lady, as you see, again, I, we've done it. I started by segmenting the whole head of hair into pieces and then just added lines and a couple of patterns. The wavy lines coming out of the center instead of top to bottom, but same kind of concept. And you see that the weight here that we I've played with is with lines closer together and further apart. Here's a freestyle piece, a little floral piece, my balloon with the woven basket, a repetition of the florals from earlier, the small circles filling the spaces, you know, those waves, those braided kind of fans make often an appearance. Freestyle waves, freestyle waves with some squares and triangles. And here's a test that really didn't go very well. I was in inspired by the Instagram account Off Atoms and Lines. She does beautiful work and I tried to more or less copy it and failed miserably, but it was a, I don't know, an hour, 90 minutes maybe, well spent and I had a good time. The Monstera leaf, trying the cross hatching. Obviously this looks a little bit more like a Christmas tree, but you know what? Done is better than perfect. The flower, Again, different kinds of shading and different kinds of um, light and line play. A freestyle piece, also very much inspired by of atoms and lines. And here's a little vitamin C, straight lines where I should have drawn a square first because this is a little too wavy for my liking. And then horizontals waves coming out of the same. The photo that I drew from one of our sanity walks by um, the promenade here in Brooklyn. This is the Manhattan skyline in case you couldn't <laughs> recognize it. This is the initial letter of a friend of mine whose birthday is April 22nd, surrounded by some flowers. She passed away last year, so it's nice to have her memory. And then make a wish, right? I'm seeing that the, the sunlight in the shadow is a bit unfortunate right now, but that's the way the light is reflecting through the window. So not a lot I can do about it. And the final, I think, super freestyle piece. So yeah, I didn't even do it every day, but definitely more than 10 days. And it kept me busy and it kept me sane and it helped me find relief in these difficult times and I hope it does the same for you.